a few things there. Um, I'd say, you know, the number one thing that you want to make sure you exit your two years with is make sure you have the, you know, solid kind of technical background that you'll, you're going to need uh, as you're going into private equity, because what you'll see is, and this is something I miss the most, is you have a lot of resources as an investment making analyst, right? Like you have the capability to ask, you know, your associate how to do things, your VP how to do things. And the like level of expectation is actually, you know, frankly, a lot lower than it will be once you transition over the buy side. So take advantage of that, right? Like get yourself on, you know, complicated transactions, get yourself to, you know, really be able to see a wide variety of transactions because until you do that, you don't really know what you don't know. And as you start figuring out what you don't know, you learn a lot and you grow a lot and ultimately become a lot more independent in the type of work and analysis that you do and how you approach situations. And I think that's the one thing that if I could say, like spend time really getting good at, do that. Um, the second thing I will say is, you know, of the time that you get and I completely recognize, right? Like you guys are probably gonna be going into your IB jobs. It's very overwhelming, especially when you first start. I think somebody describes it as like drinking from a fire hose because you just see a bunch of things coming in towards you and you're just trying to like latch onto something. But to the extent possible, think about what your VP is saying, like, right? Like think about why you're doing a piece of analysis, why your VP said something, why your like MD said something and what their thought process was behind it. Because as you start transitioning, the like burden of, you know, kind of having those same thoughts and thinking through these same analyses kind of falls upon you, right? So like as an associate, you're the one deciding how these pages look. You know, you're the one thinking of like what to put on a page, how to go about a particular analysis. When you don't know something, you're the one, you know, really just on Google and or like talking to people, uh, trying to figure out how something's supposed to work. And, you know, building up to that takes time and practice. And, you know, frankly, that was the you know, biggest thing I had to adjust to and have been adjusting to coming in. So I'd really focus on kind of those two things. Um, and, you know, if you do both of them right, then you're going to be golden when you, you know, move on.